So in this tutorial, the goal is to be able to record a series of button presses, light up the associated LED, store those presses, and then play them back in a future recording. So as you can see, I'm demoing this project right now. I'm just basically recording some random series of button presses and then playing them back to show you how this project should work. As the user presses any of the buttons, you'll see initially a quick little LED flash. This just shows the user that the button was in fact pressed, and then they can go ahead and click the playback button to see the sequence. At the end of the sequence, you'll notice that the array is cleared out, and therefore you can't play this back from memory again. You'll have to re-record something. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check out this tutorial. I hope it helped you build your very own button sequencer project. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you did find it useful, share it with a friend, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.